वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश वन फिफ्टी सेवन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज बैंडिंग एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय आर सी हेबलर एंड द टॉपिक विच वी आर कवरिंग इज स्ट्रेस कंसनट्रेशन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द स्टेप बार हैज अ थिकनेस ऑफ फिफ्टीन मिलीमीटर डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम मूवमेंट दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड टू इट्स एंड इफ इट इज मेड अब ऑफ मटीरियल हैविंग अलाउेबल बैंडिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ टू हंड्रेड मेगा पासकल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द स्टेप रॉड so here the thickness is 45 here thickness is 30 and here thickness is 10 and we have a fillet of 3 mm over here fillet of 6 mm over here so this is a step rod and the moment m is applied on its end so you have to find the maximum moment that can be applied so let's start with the solution so what we will get you can see that we have two fillets over here so there will be two stress concentration factor so i will find them first so stress concentration factor k for both these two fillets so now uh, for smaller section let me show you the smaller section for smaller section you can see that this this the smaller section clear so we will find k for this smaller section clear for that we will need w by h and r by h in order to calculate k so here you can see that this is w clear so w by h w by h so w here is 30 and h here is 10 so w by 10 will be give you it will give you 3 and what about by r by h so you can see here fillet is 3 6 mm so 6 divided by h is 10 so 6 by 10 and that will give you 0.6 so what we will do is that we will find this k which is stress concentration factor so you can see here this is 0.6 so you will take this vertical line clear and w by h is 3 so you can see this is the graph so it is coinciding over here clear so if you move to our horizontal so this k will be equal to 1.2 so i will write it here k is equal to 1.2 now we will find for larger section let me choose another color for larger section what will be w by h and r by h so you can see here for larger section this will be w and that is 45 so i will write 45 and this will be your smaller section and 30 so 45 divided by 30 will give you 1.5 Similarly, R by H here R is three millimeters, so three divided by H is thirty, and that will give you zero point one. Now we will cal find this K value by using this table. So you can see this is zero point one. So if I draw a vertical line over here, so this is zero point one and one point five. So this is you can see this is W one point five. This 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 graph. so if i proceed it so this will be the point and here you can see that uh, if i remove this line so you can see this graph will meet it at this point so this will be your k and that is 1.77 so i will write k value for this larger section and that is 1.7 7 now we will find allowable bending stress uh we have been given allowable bending stress so from here we will calculate the moment so we know that allowable bending stress is equal to k times m into c divided by i clear so for smaller section 
for smaller section if you cut it so you can see you will draw the cross sectional view will be like this so this width thickness is given as 15 millimeter and this height is 10 millimeter so thickness is 15 millimeter and height is 10 millimeter this is 10 millimeter so if you divide it in half so this will be its neutral axis and c is the distance from neutral axis till top or bottom so this is c and c will be equal to 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 5 millimeter so c is 5 millimeter which in meter is 0 0.005 meter and what about i so moment of inertia for this rectangular cross section will be 1 over 12 b h q so 1 over 12 b is 15 millimeter which is 0 0.1 0 0.015 and h is 1 meter, 10 millimeter which is 0 0.00 uh, which is 0 0.01 0 0.01 q and this is also this will give you i now we have allowable bending stress we have k we have c and we have m so from here you can see that m will be equal to sigma allowable into i divided by k into c so put the value allowable bending stress is 200 megapascal so i will write uh, 200 megapascal 200 into 10 to the power 6 multiply by i which is 1 over 12 0 0.015 and h cube is 0 0.01 cube divide by k k for smaller section is 1.2 so 1.2 times c and c is 0 0.005 when you calculate it you will get movement will be equal to 41.7 newton into meter the unit will be newton into meter and this movement is for smaller section now we will move toward larger section so for larger section again the moment equation is same which is equal to sigma allowable into i divided by k into c so you can see here that for larger section it will be like this the cross section since thickness remains same which is 15 millimeter but here you can see the height will be equal to 30 millimeter clear so i will draw the cross section 30 this height is 30 30 millimeter and this width is 15 millimeter 15 millimeter so if you take the half of this this will be its neutral axis and c will be this distance this will be your c and c will be equal to 30 divided by 2 which is equal to 15 millimeter and c in meter is 0 0.015 meter what about i i is the moment of inertia so for that it will be equal to 1 over 12 its breadth which is 15 millimeter and in meter it is 0 0.015 and height is 30 millimeter so 30 0 0.030 cube clear and k we have calculated for larger section is 1.77 now you have all the value sigma allowable is 200 megapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 6 multiply by i is 1 over 12 to 0 0.015 multiply by 0 0.01 cube divide by k which is 1.77 multiply by c c is here is 0. Point, uh, 0 c is 0. 
now when you calculate all these values on right side you will get movement will be equal to 254 newton into meter and this movement is for larger section now we have two movement one is this one and the second one is this one so one is less than second movement so so largest movement that can be applied and will be safe is m is equal to 41.7 newton so this is the movement that we can apply on this system so it will be safe now most of the student asked since this value is the largest so why we select this value so answer is that if you take this movement clear and put in this formula let me show if you take this movement and put it in this formula so you will get allowable bending stress you will get the stress clear which is less than allowable so and again if you put this value for the largest section in this so you are allow so your stress will be less than the allowable for larger section so it will be safe what if we use this value in this equation so your stress will greater than allowable so it will fail hence we select this smallest value and that will be the largest movement that can be applied on this system and this was all about this problem 6-157 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching